Hey, hello, it's uh, Chris and Derek from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs again. Um, it's threatening rain, so we're moving indoors. Um, what we're doing today is shortening a drive shaft using a lathe. Um, this specific drive shaft is for the 69 Fury. We got to uh, shorten it about two and a half inches, two, two and a half inches. This one we got out of a 68 monocle. Yeah, I yeah, and we found out from 68 to 69 Fury, uh, they shrunk the, um, or from a monocle to a Fury, they, the Fury is two inches shorter, I think. Yeah. And we measured the drive shaft in there, so we can take about two and a half inches. So we're gonna do that with a lathe. So Derek's just dialing it in right now. Make sure everything's straight. And what he's planning on doing is cutting where the factory weld is, knocking off that. Bring it two and a half inches, cut, then fit that in, re weld it, and hopefully everything should go smooth as humanly possible. I did it on uh, Kevin's 50, uh, what was that, 52 Ford? Yeah. I had that thing wound up about 90 mile an hour and never vibrated, so. Yeah, and we've uh, cut my. Uh, Hudson uh, drive shaft too. I don't remember that. I think we did that Ryan's work. Oh, okay, that's well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ryan Ryan did that one, but okay. but basically did it the same way. Yeah. Well, he's the one that taught me. Yep. So we'll let Derek finish getting that ready, and we'll uh, show you some cutting. Looking at it, so Derek thinks we've 
gotten most of the or all of the uh, well done so now he's going to start to just move he doesn't want to go too much deeper you want to move this way a little bit yeah just just so i can open it up a little bit and maybe go in a little bit deeper just to find the cast and once you notice you hit the cast then i know yeah. i'm deep enough in them because on this one this piece is cast and this is the tubing yeah and the cast goes up to who knows it might go up to like it should be right about here okay so. yeah so we want to follow that up until we may basically make the get the edge yeah and then once i get that off clean this and that's why i'm always putting on a 45 degree so when you weld it you got perfect penetration on this side and this side so this side will be done when I get it off, and then we'll put it over here, and then I'll be this out. So when you weld it, you got a real nice uh, yep. area to weld. You don't want a drive shaft to fall off. No. <laughs> and then doing it this way it keeps it very, very straight. Yeah, and I'm taking my time. I'm not yeah. hogging it. No. I'm like not if, professional. If so. you <laughs> took a, you could take a grinder and grind that all out, but yeah. then but same thing but then you you got to clean it nice and yeah. good straight and get that in there straight and the only way i've seen to you and i've had yeah. good luck at it so <laughs> Okay, uh, so Derek widened it out, as you can see, a bit, and, you, and we think we're down to the cast. Oh, there it goes. There you go. I just, that's fine, I just nicked into a little bit. Yeah. That's no big deal. And that's a very good <laughs> indication of putting Yeah, because now we can use this to spigot into there. Yeah. And get it centered. And I kind of made a, a cheesy mark. There's my mark right there. That's where we're going to cut it. But I don't know about this. I don't know if I should cut it off or <laughs> use the lathe and cut it off it's, or what? It's probably, yeah, there. it's probably spot welded there and there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's the way you do it, and then that way you can balance it. Yeah. The only real bad thing we really screwed up, which we do screw up, but I can figure it out. Uh, we gotta, when you put this back together, you gotta line this joint. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to weld it on here. I'll get everything ready. Oh, you yes. You gotta line this up 100%. Yeah, uh, with the part that's yeah. in there. I didn't screw up, but I, I can line it up. But yeah. It would take my time, but. That's something I could have took in consideration. Like now yeah. I did, but, but everything will go good. I so. think for that, probably just if we can, I don't know, maybe even drill it off and then weld it over. Yeah. Weld it back or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'll make a mark where it is. Yeah. I don't like to weld on the giant leaves. And... No. Oh, no. Yeah. Because, yeah, you don't want to get weld yeah. splats on there. People do that now. I. Unless you get a big welding blanket to put over yeah. things, but when you pay for your own things, you kind of can't. Yeah. Get them more care of. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just we gotta. Yeah, I guess we gotta pull that weight off because it's in the middle of our cut line. Okay. <laughs> Parting tool is going to make it a little wider. 
45 degree angle on there so it'll get good weld penetration. bottomed out yeah I got it lined up yeah we basically lined it up with that and went all the way up and that lines up with that we just use a string line yeah so nothing too scientific you just want to make sure this is I'll tap it again but just make sure this is all bottomed out and if we cut straight if we cut straight so it should be straight. Yeah. Straight as I'm going to get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than doing you know, like a hand grinder and because you can't, eat, that'll never be straight. Back in so. the day, they used to use a hacksaw yeah. on the farm and you just kind of line it up in two jack stands and yeah. roll it up. It worked. We were back out in the field. They were only running, what, 200 RPMs or something? Oh, no. And those tractors. Like 3,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Probably other things vibrate worse than the, oh, the yeah. drive shaft, so. <laughs> yeah, and we're not worried about that because it's being replaced, so. Yeah, so I'm going to have to that. I'll yeah, give we'll... it another tap and then we'll weld it up. Yep. And then that drive shaft done is shortened two and a half inches. Yep. Now I've done them before. Yep, just have to put a new uh, U joint on there, which we have, so. I kind of debate. I don't know if I should put that weight in or what. Uh, yeah, because that's where the weight was. Uh, it was over here. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll mark know. it. If we have a problem, I'll put it in. But okay. could. Well, it's easy enough to put it weld it on. Like yeah. really. I could always put an extra bit of uh, weld right there. Yeah, you could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll get it set up for welding and weld that up. Okay, so we got this makeshift uh, jig up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slowly turn it while Derek uh, welds it. Which way are you going? I'm gonna go which way you want me to go. I go that way. Okay, that's okay. easier for me. Okay. All right. Oh, hold on. You're moving too much on me. Moving too? Okay. Okay, well, I'll see how much I can weld. Okay. 
Ah, okay, we're doing pretty good. That's better. Too much wiggling. Yeah. It's not perfection welding, but that's nice. But it will work. It's worked in the past, so there's no reason why it shouldn't work today. Let that cool down. Okay, uh, so the drive shaft's all done. We just put in the new U joint. And we're just going to throw it in the car, but yeah, it's all done. Uh, it wasn't very difficult uh, if you take your time and like Derek said, like put it well in the, la the lathe makes it true and like for each cut. Uh, so then you just have to hammer it in and it's true. It's not cockeyed. Um, and there was so there was a lot, a lot of pressure pounding in. So I wasn't really worried about welding it here and then having it pull because there's so much like it, it goes in a good half an inch I guess that was mm. so it spigots in there um, inside uh, we didn't show but there uh, there was a little from the welding of or the forming of the drive shaft tube there's a little ridge so we just had to grind that out to fit this in there nice so you just got to watch out for stuff like that uh, but it it's fairly simple you could do it without a lathe but it's you're getting into issues the biggest thing is cutting it straight yeah yeah and if you put in a chop saw yeah you could do it yeah and then take your time and grind this out yeah it can be done but this it was actually fairly easy it was the heart of the, the thing that took the most is like Derek setting up the lathe that's about yeah. it uh, so yeah, the front U joint's good, so we left that. So yeah, I think uh, that's in a nutshell how we do it at Penny's Hot Rods and Customs, and <laughs> and probably a lot of other people. Um, we're not gonna get it balanced unless it if once we start driving the car, if it starts vibrating and shaking, well, okay, then we'll, then we'll worry about it. But yeah. Uh, the past two we done, no problems. Yeah. So, third time's the charm, sure. So, uh, thanks for watching, and like always, uh, like, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And we'll, uh, me and Derek are just gonna throw this back in the, or put it back in the car, and uh, go from there. <laughs>